Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, how to identify first symbols for a given context-free grammar. So, what's the use of identifying these first symbols? That we will understand in our coming classes when we discuss about uh, LL1 top-down and bottom-up uh, uh, approaches uh, for a tabular form. All those things, there we will understand what's the use of calculating these first symbols. Now coming to our uh, today's class, uh, first symbol, what's the meaning of this? Uh, the set of uh, terminal symbols, see the set of terminal symbols that begin in string for given non-terminal. So anyhow, with this we don't understand, we'll go with an example and understand what's first of means. Uh, so we will calculate, so take, take a context free grammar, S tends to A, capital A, B, C or B, A. So the first of yes means first of a non-terminal yes is the first terminal symbol that it is going to encounter in its production. That is what first of yes means. The first terminal symbol that this non-terminal yes is going to encounter in its productions. Other way we will go with if you take a string input string if your input string starts with A, yes, now the S is going to elaborate. So what with what terminal symbol this S is going to elaborate? That is what first of S means. If, you, if your input string is containing B, the starting symbol, S is going to elaborate by taking B. This is other way to understand first of S means. Now we will calculate first of first uh, first for all the non-terminals. First of S is equal to. So in this production S tends to A capital A B C. What's the first symbol? Small A. So first of S is written as first of A. A is a terminal symbol. That's why it is written as A. Union. In this production, what's the first symbol? B. So first of B, B is a terminal, so we write it as A union B. So A comma B are the symbols, terminal symbols that it is going to encounter. The first terminal symbols. So first of S is equal to A comma B. This is how we calculate the first symbols for all the all the non-terminals that are present in our context-free grammar. So from next onwards, we are not going to show you that first of A union, first of B like that. So for the first production, we are showing it. Now coming to the first of A means we are having only one symbol, first of B, it is a terminal symbol. So B, first of A is B. First of B is C, first of C is D. This is how we calculate first for all the non-terminals. Because this is our first example, we have taken simple example. In our next, uh, next example is bit complex. In our next class, we are going to do some complex uh, examples in calculating the first symbols for the given context free grammar. Now coming to this, S tends to B, capital B, B or capital C, D. So what's the first symbol? Capital B in this production. So first of S is equal to first of capital B or union <coughs> first of capital C. So first of S is given as first of capital B, union first of capital C. We don't know what first of B is. We don't know what first of C is. So first we have to calculate first of B and first of C. When it comes to first of B, what's the first symbol? First of A union, first of epsilon. A is a terminal. So A comma epsilon is the first of B. Similarly, first of C is given as a C comma epsilon. These are the terminal symbols that it is going to encounter in the productions. <coughs> Now place it here. The point, important point you have to understand. If you understand this point, you can solve all the examples. So what's the important point is first of B is A comma Epsilon. So if you place A here in place of B, capital B, what's the first symbol it is going to encounter? A. If you place Epsilon here, what's the first symbol it is going to encounter? B. So that is the point you have to understand. So the first symbols for this S yes production, this production is A comma B. Similarly, what is the first of C? C comma Epsilon in place of capital C. If you place C, so what's the first symbol it is going to encounter? C. In place of capital C, if you place Epsilon, what's the first symbol it is going to encounter? First terminal symbol it is going to encounter? D. So totally, what's the first productions for S is? <coughs> first of S is equal to 
a comma epsilon union c comma epsilon you place it in our productions after placing that we will get a b c d so these are the symbols first symbols for the yes non terminal this is how we will calculate the first symbols for all the non terminals in our context free grammar hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you